What an evening session it's been at the Man Bet X Champion of Champions Thank 2018. You. Seven. Well, certainly, what That's an evening session for Kyron Wilson, who very rapidly has built a 5 1 lead. It means he needs one more frame to make it through to the semi finals. Judd Trump at the moment in disarray. Yeah, I suppose the better hope that Judd Trump could cling to is that when Karen Wilson went 3 0 up against Mark Williams, he started to stutter a little bit and missed. Took three or four chances to get over the line. But he's playing far, far better tonight. And when this could be another typical Karen Wilson long pop. Another one. Safely one. potted. I mean, these are when he's playing like this, meat and drink. You were saying, Phil, that at the moment, Judd Trump's ranked number five, Karen Wilson's number nine, but on tonight's show, I think they'll be swapping places soon. Yes, Wilson's personal best ranking at the moment in his career, world number eight. I think that's going to be improved on. Although that Karen was Wilson won. just a, a tad clumsy. Better safety shot from John Trump asking a question of his opponent, which he hasn't done for a while in this match. down to the shot. He was down before the cue ball had even stopped moving. Trying to get that cue ball in the bolt cushion behind the yellow and brown. Got the red much too thick, but as he fluked the red, well, one. If the night wasn't going bad enough for Judd Trump, that's just added to the misery. With delightful position on Brown attached, salt in wound. Stand across for the black in the same pocket. Six. And I think he's got the kind of mentality, Wilson, that he would want to win this match at this visit. Not just thinking about the implications of just a win, but how he would make Trump feel 13. the next time they play. Well, there's no doubt 14. that you can tell from tonight's match that Judd Trump doesn't like playing Kyron Wilson. The record, the recent record, speaks for itself. You do get that in the game. There's players that you, it's just sort of bogey players that you just don't feel you can play your best snooker against. You feel that they're always going to get the better of you. 
Sometimes you're sat in your chair, you're always expecting them to get the run of the balls, things like that. And it all puts you in a negative state of mind before you even come to the table. 22. Wilson currently on a run of 383 <laughs> points without reply. It's a, a really substantial number, that. Third. But the record is not going to be challenged. The record is 556. Ronnie O'Sullivan against Ricky Walden in the quarterfinals at the Masters four years ago. And the run comes to an end, playing with running Carol side. Just straighten the black up a little bit. Are we going to see a twist in the tail? Well, you can only attribute that to, as I mentioned before, the winning line approaching. He hasn't looked like missing One. in the last three frames. Now, has Judge Trump got anything left to give in this match? Nine. It's definitely something that can be aimed at Judd Trump as when he's not, you know, dominating a match. Is he up for the battle? And this, when this frame here will certainly prove otherwise. Fifteen. Sixteen. Twenty-two. You're right. What you said earlier, though, Phil. Though, if you know, we, we fully expect Karen Wilson to win this match so. from five-one ahead, but not winning it at that visit does take a little bit of the sheen away from the victory. Thirty-one. Best players are always perfectionists and their own worst critics. And 38. You'd be disappointed not to just keep that run of unanswered points going and just take care of this match there and then. 39. But now the problems are starting for Judd Trump. Three awkward reds. Well, that wasn't his fault. That was an explosive kick. It just straightened like you wouldn't believe. Just run. 39. That's incredible. <laughs> you could be right behind the pink and to miss it by that far. Very unfortunate. And he'll be thinking the whole world's against him at the moment. That was Flintstone snooker. Two boulders striking each other and creating sparks. Obvious what the stumbling block to perhaps winning the frame in this visit is. It's the red that's next to his bridge hand right now. He wants to get on that red in such a way he doesn't want the cue ball to be tight in the cushion as well because then he won't be able to get nice position on the colour. Because the yellow's off its spot. So he wants good position on the final colour to get on that yellow. Just to have the cue ball yeah. about an inch off the cushion. 
maybe even a couple of inches, but anything but tight on the cushion is good here. Wriggled it in. I think it's okay. I think he can reach this. Sixteen. No, possibly not. But the angle he's got, he just has to concentrate on the pop because the cue ball is going to automatically come away from the cushion. The slight problem here is if he's playing for the black, because he's got to put some stun on the cue ball to get up for the yellow, the pink. Maybe in the way. He's just looking to see exactly where he wants that cue ball. So this is anything but straightforward. I mean, he'd love to stun the cue ball out for the pink. But I think at this point, just make sure you pot the red. The complexity of this shot is also heightened by the fact that the yellow isn't on its spot. But if he can pull it off, pot the black and get position, he's almost there. I think there's just enough room between black and pink that he can play this with a bit of stun. Just miss that left middle pocket. there but I'm sure it wasn't to play for the yellow into the left middle but that's what he's left with no oh, that's a good pop that's a solid pop green and brown needed And Judd Trump in his chair there, and he had a, a wry smile because he knew he knew that Kyra Wilson didn't play for the yellow nine. into the middle pocket, but he landed with a lovely straight pot to automatically get on the green. But it's been a dominant performance tonight for Kyra Wilson. He'll fancy the job this week Perfect. after this performance tonight. He scored over 600 points. Jet Trump, barely over 150. Impressive, resounding, convincing. One of the best performances in terms of pure standard I've ever seen Kyron Wilson produce. The scoreline in the end, Judd Trump won, Kyron Wilson six.